What's up everybody, this is Retro Red. Welcome to another episode of Game Hunting Pickups. I know it's been a long, long time already. It's been a couple of months. Uh, I just haven't had a chance, but uh, I'm taking the time right now um, to be able to get this done. I haven't actually been picking up too many things for my personal collection. Uh, usually everything I do get in, it's for my, for my store, which has been doing really good. Um, I actually wish I could be there more time than I actually am able to do so at the moment. Um, but yeah, these past few months have been crazy. It's been, they've gone from good to bad, uh, just in my personal life. Um, and I just haven't had too much time just uh, to be able to dedicate um, myself to collecting and stuff. But. No, I'm still around, still here, and still trying to do my thing. So it's all good. Uh, I did get some bad news at the beginning of this month, September. Um, I won't have a job by the end of the month, so pretty much puts me in a in a bind. I'm not I'm not gonna be able to pick up too many games anymore uh, for myself or the store. Um, <clears throat> But we'll just see. So, unfortunately, uh, my return is going to be a little bittersweet. Um, this will be my last episode, um, I guess, for the for the for the season. I guess I should call it that. And later on, uh, just depending on how my situation goes and if I'm able to get a job later on, uh, a better paying job, or just a good job, something right. Um, we will see. I'll, I'll return and I'll start buying more stuff for myself and and for my store. Um, so yeah, all that aside, um, this will be my last episode. So let's just get through it and show you guys what I've picked up. And this has been an accumulation of a couple of months, like two, three months. I actually had a video, I shot a video uh, before this one um, with some other stuff that I had picked up but I don't remember um, what the things were, I already kind of organized them away in my room and my girlfriend actually has the video so I just haven't been able to get it from her so I guess I'm just gonna have to skip that one for now and just move on. So I picked up a couple of Game Boy games, um, I bought a lot from eBay and each game came out came out to about two fifty. They're pretty good titles. The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, Ultima, Ranisa Virtue or something like that. Pretty cool. <clears throat> Double Dragon, Bugs Bunny Two, Crazy Castle. Ridiculous. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Back from the Sewers. I actually have part 1, so that's pretty cool. Wario Land Super Mario Land 3. Crazy Castle 3, so part 3. I'm missing part 2, I guess. Mortal Kombat 2, I have part 1, so that's a good find. And Virtual Fighters 95. Awesome. And I do have a Game Boy Color game. It's a good one. The Legend of Zelda Oracles, Oracle of Ages. So that's awesome. Um, this one somebody went and sold at my shop. Adventure Island. Um, they just had it with them and picked it up for, I think it was around two, two fifty, three bucks. Usually I ask customers, you know, what do you want to get out of your, you know, your games or whatever, what are you looking to get out of them, and sometimes they tell me, and, um, you know, if it's a number I can work with, then I'll go ahead and give them what they're asking for, or I'll give them a price, um, 
you know, that I think is worth that I can pay. Another one, you know, uh, since I opened my store, a lot of people have been getting to know me as a guy that collects. So, they don't always uh, go to my shop, but, you know, they'll call me up and, and tell me they have games and stuff. And one in particular was um, Earthbound. I ended up buying this for 10 bucks, actually. One or the other. Um, this is one of the occasions where I ask them, you know, what are they looking to get out of it, and they give me a price, they give me a price for this one, so I ended up paying it. You know, I'm not looking to screw over anybody, you know, I'm not offering them that price, but, you know, well, I can't say too much about it, but, you know, that's the way it went. I know I got a lot of hate for that one, but, that's the way it goes, man, you're always trying to get the best price for games, and it just so happened I ended up getting a good price for that, so, lucky me, I guess. And I was going to end up selling it at the shop, but I just decided to keep it for myself. Because it's actually the very first time I see it in person. And it's actually the very first time that somebody even offers to sell me that game. So I'm pretty much deciding to keep it just for that reason. That I've never seen that game around here. And I know they go for a good good amount on eBay. So deciding to keep it. Um, so that's it guys. I don't have too much games. Too many games. Um... And now and again, I do uh, pull out a couple of games for myself uh, when when they're sold to the shop. And I have a very small store. Uh, in my other video that I told you about, I did shoot at the store, but I haven't been able to get it. So, so maybe later on, I'll do a little tour of the shop. It's very, very small. I mean, um, we're pretty much in a small corner, and we're trying to fit as much as we can there. So. It's nothing big, it's nothing amazing, but you know, we're starting off and we're trying to get as much stuff in there as possible. So, you know, it's a good start, it's a good start, I'll say that. Um, also, Jeff, man, I heard about your channel, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, sucks that your channel got uh, taken down by YouTube, but I am glad that you're starting a new channel, so... I'm gonna leave a link for everybody that wants to subscribe to him, you know, check out his channel and he, I think he has one video right now, but, you know, he's gonna build it up, I know, little by little. And yeah, please uh, support him and subscribe to him. I haven't been able to dedicate too much time on my YouTube channel simply because, you know, I had a full-time job and I had the store, so as soon as I get out of that place, I headed straight over there to that shop and... Pretty much I just get home and I fall asleep, so I don't have too much time on my hands um, for videos, things like that. I do appreciate everybody that's supporting me throughout you know, all the videos and the start of the, my YouTube channel. I haven't spent too much time on my, my Retro Red uh, Facebook either. I haven't been doing, I actually haven't done any trades in a long time. Um, and a friend of mine asked me if I was going to go to Retropalooza. I was, but since I'm not going to have a job, I can't really make the expense to go out there. Um, which sucks because I really wanted to go. I wanted to go hang out with, you know, all the, the people that watch the, the channel and all the people that I watch on YouTube. You know, go talk to them, uh, hang out with them, talk about games, you know, whatever. Something I was looking forward to a lot, but it's not going to happen this year, so here's hoping next year or maybe some other convention that comes around. Um, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for the support. I will be back as soon as possible on Season 2, hopefully bigger and better. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace. How long have you been collecting, and do you mainly collect retro? Hey Greg, what's up? First of all, I just want to thank you, man, for uh, sending in the questions video. I know you're a busy guy, so I really, really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to Gamer Geeks Nation, man. Um, really like the channel. Uh, to answer your question, I've been collecting for about a year already. 
uh, within that year I started off mainly collecting for the NES uh, and then I jumped uh, into PlayStation 2 and then from there I just pretty much started picking up anything um, whether it's Game Boy, uh, PS1, PS2, PS3, GameCube, um, anything anything game related I'll definitely pick up and not only that but I do buy um, figures uh, I haven't really bought too many figures but I'm also jumping into that um, and yeah within that one year I opened up a, a store so it's definitely been uh, a journey and uh, definitely been enjoying it so thanks again man, for the question and uh, see you guys next time